Hello! Hello my honeybees! Today we are going to be eating the Brudak Carbonara Fried Rice. And in here there are two packs. I'm also going to be eating the Cream Carbonara Brudak because one fried rice is not enough. And today is my cheat day so I'm going to eat one of these and three of the Cream Carbonara. So let's get cooking. <coughs> Smells really good. Okay, so. So creamy, oh my gosh. Oof. Whoa. Hello my honey bees, it's your girl Henny, and today I'm gonna be eating carbonara fire fried. Hello my honey bees, it's your girl Henny, and today I'm gonna be eating carbonara fire fried rice and creamy carbonara fire noodles. So let's dig in because I'm so hungry. I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that, but yeah, I am so hungry. Let's get started. We are going to have lemon sparkling water in our lemon cacao Ryan cup. Isn't it so cute? Let's start with, hmm, what do we start with? Let's start with this, because this is the new one. So let's have our first bite. Honey bite. Ooh. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Okay. Wow. I don't know if there's bacon pieces in there, but I taste a little bit of bacon. Mmm. It is a little bit spicy. It has a little bit of kick. Mmm. It's spicier than the original fire fried, fried rice. It's spicier than the original fire fried rice. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying f f f f f But, wow, it's good. Okay. And then our first bite. Honey bite of... The creamy carbonara. Look at that. Ooh. I didn't realize how creamy this was. I remember I first had it when they first came out in Korea, but it's a lot creamier than the regular carbonara fire noodles. Let's try it. I haven't had it in so long. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely has a lot more cheesy taste. Pickled radish. Mmm. Mmm. I miss fire noodles. Oh my gosh. Today is my cheat day. I actually ended up cooking another pack because I realized we had another full pack in the freezer. And one was just too little. So I just cooked another one and this seems like enough. And this is really good. I would recommend this one over the original fire fried rice. Mmm. It does have a little more kick, surprisingly. I would assume this would have less kick, but this one has more kick than the other one. Mmm. Honestly... I like the original carbonara fire noodles over the creamy one. Mm. 
but I feel like a little more cheesiness and less spice. You should get the creamy carbonara. Mmm, so good. Mm hmm. Wow. I really like the fried rice. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hits the spot. Wow. I really like it. It does have a little bit of like smoky bacony flavor. So if you don't like that, you should get the original. Mmm. Last time I microwaved the original one, I thought it got a little too hard. So this time I stir fried it and it's a lot better. Mmm. Wow. To tell you the truth, I didn't have a lot of expectations for this because the original fire fried rice was eh, not that great. But this one I totally recommend. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It's just so good. I like the little hardened rice on the bottom. So when I stir fried it, I kind of cooked it a little bit more on the bottom. I just like the texture and a little bit of burnt taste. I haven't had pickled radish in a while, too. Mmm. Nice to have one cheat day per week. Wow. And of course, my cheat days are going to be noodle days. You guys already know how much I love noodles. Mmm. Mmm. You guys really have to try this. So, you know, if you guys are on Instagram, this trend has been going on where people post stories of themselves, a picture of them when they were 21, right? And I was debating whether I should post mine and I was looking through my photos on Facebook because that's where all my old photos are. And I didn't realize until I looked at the photos of my 20s that one, I didn't have a lot of photos. Two, I wasn't really happy in my 20s. There are a lot of things that I regret and I really wasn't that happy. And I think it was because I was kind of avoidant and not really grieving my father's passing. But 
but also all my smiles and stuff it looked a little forced and so it made me realize how much more I love my 30s now in my 20s I put myself last I put my friends first, I put my relationship first. I don't know why. Also, I was a huge people pleaser. And losing my dad was such a huge part of my life. My dad was my best friend. Well, before he passed away, we had a little falling out. Um, that's why it made me more sad because I wished I put my family first. So those are some things that I regretted, but I learned from it, and that's all that matters. You know, we are all going to make mistakes in our lives, and none of us are perfect, you know. We all live this life once, and sometimes we just don't know. We just make mistakes. It's just a matter of you making it right and trying your best not to make the same mistakes again. And come to think of it, a lot of those friends are not in my life anymore. A lot of them got married. They put their family first. A lot of them moved away. We just... We just drifted apart. We just grew. We all changed. I think as we grow older, a lot of us change. A lot of our interests change. A lot of, you know, our lifestyles change. And a lot of us get married and all that. But I am happy that I have all those memories that I do have with my friends. Because in the end, I wouldn't be who I am now if it wasn't for the past me, right? Let me in the let, let me in the let me know in the comments down below what your 20s was like. And also, what are some of the mistakes that you've made that you learned from? Wow, and now we have already come to the end. Looking back on my 20s, I am very happy with where I'm at right now. And I hope you guys are happy with where you guys are at now too. I feel like I'm more confident and I'm not as much a people pleaser anymore as I used to be. I, I still am sometimes, but I've learned to say no. I've learned to say no and 
learn to be more confident in myself. I was always scared that pe people were going to be a little judgy or not like me if I didn't say yes to everything. But now, that's not me. I've grown. I'm proud to be me. And it's okay to say no sometimes. You can't always be a yes person. So yeah, I'd love to know more about your 20s or when you guys were younger and how you guys were when you guys were younger. And this is going to be my last. Bye! Mm. So good. I think this is one of my favorite fire noodle stuff. Food. If you guys try it, let me know how you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And to become a honey bee. And like this video if you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye-bye!